Most of the area baseball and softball games canceled for tonight with a soggy field and cold conditions. New Bremen softball did fall at Covington. We understand Bell Fountain playing down at Vandalia Butler as well. As for baseball, St. Henry hopes to get its Redskins Classic in tomorrow. It's slated for LCC, could be moved to Wapak or St. Henry, whichever field is best. Redskins 25-year head coach John Dorner inducted the Ohio Baseball Coaches Hall of Fame this past January. He gives a lot of credit to the people around him. My entire coaching staff is pretty much former players, um, so it's, it's nice to, to have those guys. Uh, they, they know what, what the program's all about, and so you know, they can reinforce those things. Um, there's a lot of things I don't have to do now because they've, they've put some things into motion for me, so uh, it's, it's, it's nice to reflect upon what we've done so far, but we've got a lot ahead of us yet, and we're, we're hoping that this year can be a, a very successful season. They're off to a great start so far. Wins over Indian Lake and Covington behind an experienced bunch. Yeah, we, we played a couple good teams this week, and we got two wins. That's pretty good. Good start to the season. We need to uh, pick up on our defense a little bit, but the pitching's been going well. We've got eight veterans, uh, seniors on the team, and uh, we have a real deep pitching staff. Uh, we've had a good start to the season. Uh, we haven't given up an earned run yet in uh, in a scrimmage and two ball games, and uh, hopefully we can continue that. We're, we're looking for our offense to pick it up a little bit, and uh, hopefully we can make some noise as the season goes on. It's nice knowing that we can go out every day and be able to, our pitching will have us in every game, and that even if we're having a bad day on the mound, we have people behind us able to come in and shut the door for us. Paul was an all-Ohio pitcher last year, and he's on his way to play baseball at Ohio Dominican. I really like the coaching staff, and I like the – uh, location and the field has a is awesome field and it's just it, looking forward to it. it's going to be awesome. He was seven and zero last year, uh, and batted almost 400. Uh, Briar Holloman's our starting catcher. We're expecting a lot of things out of him. Uh, he's looking real strong behind the plate and also at the plate. Um, so you know we've got uh, a, a real talented uh, infield that's pretty much all upper class with the exception of uh, Mitchell Stallman who's a sophomore at shortstop and and Ryan Mikesell at third base. And these skins ready for Wapox. Redskins as well as LCC in the annual three-team showdown tomorrow. Redskin Classic has been around for several years. Uh, LCC joined it in our third year and, uh, um, and and this year it's supposed to be hosted at LCC. So between Walpock ourselves and LCC we expect a, a good ball game. Every year those games seem to be one or two run ball games and and uh, I expect nothing different this year. We'll have to be at the top of our game to have a chance to beat either one of those two good programs. It's been cold every year, but winning it last year, we'd have, like to be repeat champs and just come out and have a good day tomorrow against some really good competition and show that proved ourselves that we're the team we can be.